Hello, my name is Cynthia. My channel is Cynthia Brew Creates. You can find me on Instagram by the same name. And I'm here to share my stitching and also hopefully to inspire and encourage you as you pursue the same hobby. And if your goal is to leave a legacy um, of beautiful stitching that is important to you or communicate something about you, then I hope to inspire and encourage you to pursue that goal as I do. Um, I have some finishes that I'd like to show you to start and um, some works in progress, a little bit of purchases that go toward my mania plans and also some vintage stuff for my grandma to show you at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. My first um, finish I spoke about last month that I hope to finish and was very pleased at how quickly it came together. This is Garden Medley by Heart and Hand. And I used that um, green even weave that I dyed myself. It's also for my Oz piece. And um, found these little brass embellishments, they're little charms, um, on a website recommended by um, Miss Oso oh Crafty, Stephanie. And um, the Jabco buttons that were recommended would have been about $20. And they're beautiful. I like Jabco buttons. But I was able to do this um, embellishment for about 80 cents altogether. The charms are mostly about 20 cents a piece. And there was no minimum purchase requirement. So um, I had that little flower pot and a seed packet. It's a little glary. And then that little rake is so cute. It's just precious. And a little um, trowel. Now this one didn't have a hole in the bottom so I couldn't sew it on, but you know, for 20 cents, it worked out fine to be a decoration for the button. And I have some burlap behind, and it's not perfect. It's not 100% square, but from a distance, I like it on the wall. I think it turned out really cute. I'm gonna leave that up in the spring and the summer. So that was my first finish. It also opened up a place in my mania list, so I was happy to finish that. Um, I also um, had an unexpected project with all these mammoth um, pieces I've been working on. I think I needed some smaller um, kind of progress to feel like I could keep going. <laughs> I've been a little discouraged with my big massive projects. Um, but this was a gift from my friend Kathy. Thank you so much. And it's by Brenda Gervais. It's called um, Welcome Spring. A lot of y'all have seen this. It's not a new pattern. But I was really happy to be able to stitch this. It was an unexpected gift. I didn't use any of the call for threads. I just used what I had. A lot of this was um, Victorian Lotto sampler threads. And also that um, the eggs were a week's dye works. And I want to say it was like under the sea or something that you wouldn't think of for a spring piece. But I did like the variegation in that thread. So, and then the um, fabric was some uh, Monaco, some white Monaco that I double dyed, maybe even triple dyed. And I really like the result on that dyeing. I may have another step. I wanna put something that's kinda in between here, um, but I haven't found it yet. So I'm just kinda hanging it on my wall and admiring it, and <laughs> I'll come up with something else to change it. I'm gonna show y'all if I do that. But that was a fun stitch, and if um, you would like to stitch it, because I'm finished with it and it was a gift from a friend, I'd like to pass the stash. So I'm gonna ask a question at the end of the video if you'd like to stick around um, and comment below. Um, I'd appreciate it if you were a subscriber and if you liked the video, I will pass the stash on this one with a random number, number generator. I haven't done that before, but we can figure it out. So yeah, and that tray was just something I had chalkboard painted in a um, previous home of mine and it's been sitting in my closet. So I thought it would be fun to get that out. I think I got it for two or three dollars at a um, little thrift store that was going out of business. So glad to have that in use instead of in the closet. Um, so that was my second finish. Um, I have my second and only finish. I have some works in progress that didn't make it quite as far as I'd hoped, but are still progressing. Um, namely my Hawk Run Hollow, the piece that is my Grand Canyon. I have um, continued to use this kind of as my morning piece to um, pray for my friends and family to have my list out beside me and just stitch in solitude and quiet. And um, as you can see from my progress, I didn't do that quite as much as I hoped to. 
but I um, that's several thousand stitches I think hundreds and hundreds of stitches so there was a lot of work put in and I love that thread I don't know if you can see that variegation um, I was following someone on Instagram I'll try to find her name um, that had used a lot of Gentle Arts sampler threads for this conversion instead of using the MPI silks or even the um, DMC because I did like it to have that variegation in the sign. I thought that would be something that would show up. And this was a um, thread called Gold Leaf by the Gentle Arts. So if that's not a thread you're familiar with, that was a really pretty kind of mustardy fall color called Gold Leaf. So that's about a third of the block because under beside this is a huge brick house so I'll keep plugging away at that even through mania I intend to stitch this in the morning so hoping to continue um, that practice of some quiet stitching and sort of meditation I prayed for um, my friend Barbara who lost her husband last month and when they came and picked up his truck it was a really sad day for her I remember crying over this a little bit <laughs> And then for my senior who is about to graduate, um, lots of uncertainty and things ahead, lots of tears in this block. So I will remember that, but also happy times. My friend's mother who had found a mass, they had found a mass in her abdomen and that never sounds good, but it turned out to be something they could fix and it was not cancer. So also happy times, just reminders of how God is always with us. So that's my hawk run progress. Um, my other one that I really hope to finish, maybe because I called it, maybe because I said, I'm gonna finish this in April. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> kind of like um, jinxed myself, but I did get a lot done and I'm making good progress. This is my Barbara Anna, um, Love Never Fails. I always get the name wrong. I did make some more progress on the letters and filling in different parts and I started on this guy over here and his thigh gap is wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell that. I was one stitch off on that boot, and so his legs are a little farther apart than they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be one stitch, and I made them two. But when it's all said and done, my husband thought those pieces of his coattail were his arms. <laughs> he was like, well, that looks a little weird. I said, no, 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 that's your coattail. So I think it's gonna come together. I had the picture of the um, finished y'all have seen it a lot of you know um, so I think I can push forward the bottom piece was a real booger so getting all those diamond stitches diamond stitched was a big accomplishment so at least there's that I need his head and his top coat and the flowers on either side started with the one and the nine and that's gonna say 1996 for our wedding date so such a beautiful piece and I have found a frame I may have mentioned that already but I have one in my closet from Goodwill that I need to restain and hopefully stretch this myself um, my friend Kristen posted that she'd been stretching some of her so I might give her a call if you're watching Kristen <laughs> and then um, the other works in progress I have are um, not your traditional works in progress. I've been dyeing fabric again and planning for mania, making preparations. Um, I did this piece of aqua here, and it looks a little grungier than I thought it would, but I think I'll be able to pick out a piece. I wanted it to look like a swimming pool that has like the ripples of the turquoise water, kind of a bright summery, but not so bright that it didn't really match the rest of my decor. So I do like more primitive kind of stuff. It has the taupe over dyed on the aquamarine. So, and it's just a piece of Ada. It was white, of course, but I think it's gonna be pretty. So that's my uh, Lucky Swimmer piece. Um, and at the end, I'll try to put a card for my Mania um, videos. If you didn't catch those, I have 31 projects that I'll be stitching starting this next Wednesday, and that's gonna keep me really busy. So this is ready now for Lucky Swimmer. And then I also, did a just real basic kind of cream um, linen. I've never uh, stitched this 32 count linen from Hobby Lobby before, um, but it looks really nice. It's a little bit um, sloppy maybe, but not too bad. And I also tried something new where I put um, cinnamon in my Rit dye 
because um, that was in a something I read and it smells so good <laughs> so and it was it mostly flaked off some of it might still be on there but um, I just thought that would be a fun twist to try to put some cinnamon and I don't know if it affected the color but it definitely does smell um, really good while you're working on it so that's for um, probably my Elizabeth Easton sampler and possibly also for um, my tomato girl on the other side of it so hopefully there's enough room I think there should be it's a 32 count so that was my second die and then this morning I realized I had forgotten one piece um, of fabric that I need to have ready for this week um, coming up and that's for my um, Cricut wheel the watermelon and um, I'm still not sure about this. It's still drying. It's a little bit wet. I'm holding it on my lap. This is a real grungy piece. Um, it maybe went a little bit darker, but I think that might work in my favor because I was trying to make that watermelon cricket collection look a little bit more um, just contemporary and not so 80s. And this piece is pretty grungy. It's charcoal and I um, made it a little warmer with some taupe and actually not with taupe with tan and um, then I put the taupe over dye so I wanted it to look pretty um, primitive but I kind of I think it's kind of cool and it's not quite dry so as it dries it might get a little bit lighter but it's got some really good modeling so that's just a um, piece of even weave from Joann's I believe yeah from Joann's so I really like the way that's turning out that's kind of cool so that's my final work in progress. I've mostly been focusing on that Barbara Anna piece, trying to really make progress. Um, and then I got a little sidetracked by the sheep and the garden melee, but so glad to have those done. Um, I also got a few pieces in the mail that I had been expecting for my uh, mania for some threads that I wanted to show you. Um, someone had mentioned, um, I've heard it actually more than one place, threads by Rolanda, is that how she says? Yeah, out of Canada. And um, I had wanted to try them. They were super affordable. I put them on my Instagram, just a couple dollars for a silk. I wanna say $3. And so this piece here has the the yellow house and it has some turquoise accents around it, kind of a tealy turquoise blue, which I love turquoise. <laughs> um, so I was really happy with this purchase. It came really quick um, from Etsy. Her store is, um, I had her card somewhere, I dropped it. Anyway, here it is, hand dyed by Rolanda. If you can see that, my lights are a little, a little strong. Oh, well, I'll list it in below. Um, but definitely recommend that um, Etsy seller. She did a fantastic job with the colors. There's lots of variegation. I also got some of, that's her silk pieces. I also got some of her variegated cotton threads, which are even more affordable, just a couple dollars. And I'd already tried stitching with this gray one. Um, here, and this is for my autumn piece. I have three different kinds. This one I haven't really dug into yet, but that one is so cool. And then this charcoal and this brown. I was already using the brown and the charcoal. <laughs> we haven't got them really carded up yet, but I thought those were so pretty. And just for $2 and something, I think these are 10 yards. Yeah, 10 yard skeins. I will definitely be getting more of those. That's a fantastic product. And that's gonna go on the autumn. Um, Cricut collection. With that green, I wanted something that's really going to show. I was a little afraid that some of those olive colors, like the U and the M, aren't really going to stand out. So I'm going to switch it to some of these variegated threads. So that was fun. Um, another find I found at Michael's. Um, this is kind of getting ahead of myself a little bit, probably putting the um, cart before the horse, but um, I saw this frame at Michael's and admired it. I thought it was just really cool and antique looking and had kind of thought, oh, maybe I can find something to stitch on that. Um, and sure enough, I went and looked at my, um, what is she called? Needle and Thread piece by Brenda Gervais. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. That will look so good in that frame. I'm going to have to trim about an inch off each side, but as crowd or as spaced out as that is with the letters, I might take the letters and numbers off and just scooch in those plants, uh, just one inch. I think it will fit really well and it's gonna go on this um, vintage country mocha. You can kind of see how pretty that's gonna look. 
and the threads. Um, I had them here, but I don't see them. So I'll show you that more as I do my updates. This is day one of Mania. So I'm gonna start this on Wednesday. And I thought that frame would give me some good motivation to get it done because it's gonna look so pretty. I'll probably pad it just a little bit and not worry about glass or anything. It only comes with, it doesn't even really have like a, a lip or an edge, but this is on clearance right now. I got it yesterday for about, or day before, for about $8. So that is going to be so pretty. I'm really happy with that. And um, the other things I picked up, um, not so much for uh, Mania, but just for fun. I found, um, well, one is for Mania. I stand correct. Um, I found this on a really good price. Um, it's a store out of California that's new. And I don't see their, their label on anything. But I'll try to leave it down below because it was excellent service. They have the wish list that Michelle Bendy-Stitchy was talking about. I had kind of been keeping an eye on that. And um, this um, was 20% off or 15% off with a code from Priscilla and Chelsea. They offered that a couple weeks ago. Um, and I just love this um, Mahala Barber. I think she was English, but um, the fox and rabbit designs are out of Australia. I believe they're the ones that do the linens and threads um, band sampler, the mystery sampler each month. So I wanted to support them too because I've printed off those patterns. And I love the dark fabric with the light flowers. I haven't really seen anybody talking about this for market, but I went ahead and, and got the threads, but um, I changed my mind on starting it during Mania. It may be a birthday start at the end of August instead. It's huge. It's like um, $3.95 by $4.68. And it has thousands of French knots on the trees, which I can't do French knots yet. But maybe by the end of the summer, you just keep practicing and you'll get there. Um, or I'll get there, hopefully. The other one that I picked up is from Barbara Anna. Of course, I always want to have, I think, a Barbara Anna um, project on the go just because I admire her design so much and really enjoy stitching her work and um, I told you that I didn't have everything in yet on my mania plans and that I was holding a carrot out for finishing the um, true love or the love never fails piece well I didn't quite make my goal and I won't start this unless I do finish it but I picked up all creatures great and small many of you have seen this stitched Emily C did a beautiful version of it on um, a dark blue fabric from Picture This Plus. And I went back and forth about using um, a darker fabric. I have a 40 count piece of linen in the mail. Um, and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I haven't tried 40 count before, but um, my friend Robert at the Sit and Stitch said, if you can do 36, you can do 40. He does 46 and over one on tw on uh, 32 and, and tiny, tiny things. So. He is very experienced, but um, I have anchor threads also on the way. I wanted to try stitching anchor. I may change some of the pinks to more of a red. However, I'm still on the fence, but I just love this pattern from the first time I saw it. So really happy to have that. And if I finish my um, other piece from Barbara Anna, then I will start this on May 31st. So that'll be kind of my and my big finish piece for mania so i hope that you um, can follow along on my uh, stitching through mania it's my first time um, if you think about it last year i wasn't even stitching in may so i'm really excited um, and i may not do it next year but for now it'll it'll be a lot of fun and i will be posting updates daily on instagram or i um not or, and I will be doing uh, weekly updates on my progress as I uh, stitch through the schedule that I had set. So um, lastly, let me show you a couple of pieces from my grandmother, and then I have a question for the giveaway. This is a piece um, that hangs over my piano, and it is Amazing Grace. Another one of my grandma stitched in the 90s. It's, I believe I found it when I Googled um, a Janlin kit. And I wanna say the name of the designer is Reba something. But again, I'll put that in the 
in the notes below. Ma my grandma didn't want to use a custom frame, clearly, so she matted this kind of unevenly, but that's okay. It's still really pretty, and I love the musical notes. So that was um, something I recently acquired. My mom went ahead and passed it down to me, and I'm really happy to have it. And that frame is really pretty. I do enjoy that. So that was from my grandmother. And the other piece, this isn't really cross-stitch, but um, I know a lot of y'all have different interests in stitching. As you um, kind of grow, you can move into quilting and embroidery and other things. Um, I found in a box a quilt that my grandmother had started for my two oldest girls. And I really was on the fence about this piece um, because it is kind of dated and not necessarily my style, but my grandma did a whole lot of work in getting this set up. Here's all the different fabrics she had collected. And um, she had already put on she traced all the pieces and put, I guess this is freezer paper on the back. Um, and so my thought was, at first I thought, well, maybe I should give that to Goodwill. That's just really not something that I'm interested in. But these fabrics are familiar to me. Some of these were dresses for my dolls. And um, this was a piece of a Halloween costume when I was about five years old, when I was Raggedy Ann for Halloween. So I would hate to lose the sentimental value of this. and. Um, since she did do so much work already, all those pieces have been traced. Um, she left some instructions of basically ironing this on to an 11 by 13 piece of fabric and then zigzagging around it, which I don't know if that's really enough instruction for me, but I can probably do some research. And um, the other thought I had was if I, I love my chalkboard pieces and the black pieces like Priscilla and Chelsea have done, um, or Priscilla, and I thought if I put the... Um, black background behind this parasol girl then did a big border of large black and white gingham checks that might make it more more modern and something that my girls could enjoy so we'll see that might be kind of some post mania plans for um for june so again i thank you for um taking time to see what i'm up to and to commenting down below i've enjoyed interacting with stitchers from all over the united states even from australia i thank you for taking the time to do that and um if you would like to um be considered to win the um welcome spring piece then I'd like you to comment down below um, what your mania plans are. If you are going to participate or if you're going to abstain or doing some version of it, just briefly explain what your mania plans are and I will um, probably wait till my next monthly update. I'm trying to do updates once a month. So at the end of um, May. I will look at those that shared their mania plans and put that in a random random num number generator. Sorry, that's hard to say. So if you'd like to stitch this, just let me know what your mania plans are and I will choose a winner. Um, and I'd also like to finish with the verse that I shared last time of my hopes and um, plans for this hobby and for this channel as well. And from Psalm chapter 90, verse 17, it says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands. Thank you so much for watching.